Cherishing others, so that uh, through that you cultivate bodhicitta. So then uh, you uh, take care of all sentient beings, and uh, then you 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 want to liberate all sentient beings from suffering. So to be able to liberate all beings from suffering, you wish to be uh, fully enlightened. So that is body mind. So we must think in that way, and then, uh, then uh, to get enlight uh, to get enlightenment, we must practice dharma. There is no any other way. So to practice dharma, we have to know how to practice dharma. For that reason, we are uh, we have uh, gathered here and uh, to discuss about Buddha, Buddha dharma, right? So that's the motivation, cultivation of motivation, and. Uh, uh, so we are actually we are at the chapter of compassion. Uh, so we how to confess? Uh, uh, we have to remember all the negative actions that we have done in the past. So that is very important to remember. And then, uh, as we discussed the uh, the previous day, that to feel regret about what you have done. That is very important. So why you should feel regret because you're gonna suffer if you uh, keep those uh, uh, the the the, uh, the 
uh, if you keep the uh, seeds of those actions with you, uh, then uh, you will suffer. You will be the only sufferer. So you have to get rid. Uh, get you have to get rid, rid of, of all those negative actions that you have um, uh, committed in the past. Uh, so, uh, so by seeing the result, then you, uh, by seeing the result means uh, by knowing uh, about the result that you, uh, you 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 are going to have, then you uh, you get the feeling of regret, very strong feeling of regret is possible, otherwise there is no way uh, to get the feeling of uh, regret, right? So, uh, so through that you must produce regret and then then the purification, uh, get, uh, help, uh, get, uh, getting rid of all, all those negative actions is possible and uh, it's not very uh, difficult also. So, um, so there we are discussing about this and uh, at the same time we have already uh, discussed uh, last year and the last two last year and many years in the past, you know. So, what is the practice of Buddha Dharma? What is the practice of Buddha Dharma? The practice of Buddha Dharma is uh, mainly only two things. That is uh, uh, accumulation of merit because we all uh, wish to uh, be happy. We all want to be happy. Uh, all kinds of happiness uh, uh, is always welcome and all kinds of uh, suffering is uh, unwelcome by us. That is uh, uh, same for all sentient beings, not only for human beings. Human beings, of course, we are the same. Yeah, whether you are rich or poor, there is no difference. Everybody wants happiness and everybody, everybody do not want suffering that is the same. So powerful or, or, or weak or whatever, human, all happy human beings are the same, right? So the happiness comes from where? So happy, the, the only uh, way to get happiness is to collect the cause of happiness. That is accumulation of merit, what we say, in Dhamma words, right? In Dhamma terms. So we must collect the, the cause of happiness. If you want happiness, we have to collect or um, accumulate, mount up the cause for happiness as much as possible. And then get rid of all the causes of getting suffering. That's the only way to fulfill our wishes. Uh, our wish of wanting happiness and not wanting suffering. That's the only way. So therefore, that is Dharma practice. We uh, practice Dharma for that purpose. Not, not other than that. So, uh, so, uh, so how to accumulate merit and how, how to purify it. So then this, this, this is established, you know, through the karmic system. The karmic system, how it works, that is the law of nature. It is natural law that applies to everybody. So uh, whether you believe in Buddha Dharma or other Dharma or you don't believe in any Dharma, um, irrespective of all those faiths, uh, the, uh, you have to face this uh, truth. That is, uh, uh, that is, uh, that is the truth. So you have to face that. That is how it works. You know, the universe works in that way. The world works in that way, and uh, so uh, so this that is the system. So you cannot change that system. So you have to follow that system. No. So that for that accumulation of merit and the purification. So how to do it now? So that is uh, uh, we uh, as I uh, as I said we had we had discussion about this for the last many years. That uh, the seven limbs of practice, right? You remember that seven limbs of practice. So seven limbs of seven limbs of practice. Within uh, uh, among the seven limbs of practice, so uh, normally the five 
uh, of them are very uh, important and everybody irrespective of belonging to Mahayana, Sutrayana, Tan uh, Tantrayana, Theravada. Uh, we, all to, we, we all have to do this and we uh, all are supposed to do that. We all are supposed to do that. Uh, so uh, the seven inspectors, right? So uh, among them, uh, they, uh, we have seen that uh, uh, in the book uh, 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 the previous day about the, the paying homage, uh, prostrating or paying homage to the uh, higher objects. And uh, who are the higher objects? There's the Buddha, Bodhisattvas, and the uh, father, mother, and uh, uh, great qualified beings, and so forth, right? So they are the higher objects. to pay homage, okay? So through that, uh, that we accumulate magic. And through that also, we uh, suppress the, our pride. So particularly, you know that the six uh, delusions, six root delusions, one of them is uh, uh, pride. So when we, our, uh, I, 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 so I'm the best, I'm the, I'm, you know, we all, we all have that strong I. So this I is the root of all the, all the problems. Because we fight because I, or he hurt me. So I, I'm hurt, I'm, how do you say? I'm hurt, I'm hurt. So how dare he hurt me? Why? Why he doesn't dare? If he is stronger, he dares, you know? Uh, so, but we think, oh, how he dare to touch me? So that is the pride. Then the conflict start, uh, starts, you know? So the, in the business field also, that company, the owner of that company tries to hurt my business, so I'm hurting. So I is the main cause of all the suffering, all the, uh, complete and then which brings suffering, uh, which uh, which is followed by suffering. So the pride, I, the big I, that is a, uh, and then anger, anger comes because I'm I'm hurt, you know, and he's very bad because I'm hurt. He beat me up or he said bad words about me. So normally. Uh, if you think carefully, uh, then there is a, uh, uh, even if he said bad words, it doesn't hurt you. How it hurts you? How it hurts you? I mean, it will not give, uh, uh, it will not make you starve, it will not make you thirsty, it will not make you feel cold or warm or hot or whatever. How it hurts you? If somebody criticizes you, even if you didn't do anything wrong, he can criticize. He or she can criticize. So then you say, "Oh, he criticized me. I'm hurt." How you hurt? So that that is all in the air, you know. We don't, when we don't check it properly, all in the air. Then then then, then you think he hurt me, you know. You know? So. Uh, uh, the, the harsh words used against you, that is uh, no, no, actually uh, not, uh, not, not hurting you directly, right? And then sometimes if you got beaten up by a stronger person, then that is hurt, uh, hurting <laughs> because you, you, are, you are suffering, right? Uh, but so that is, uh, so if you can reduce your pride, if you can uh, make a weaker feeling of your uh, proud, feeling of proud, and then, uh, right, uh, then uh, you become happier, happier. Uh, so the paying homage to higher objects, that is uh, antidote to pride also. In, uh, uh, besides accumulating that, 
and then uh, the offering, metal offering that is uh, we discussed uh, previous day, right? That is also uh, also uh, accumulation of merit. So uh, actually, uh, the context is purification, but all works in both way. Uh, you know, or in both way. Because if you collect, uh, if you uh, accumulate more merit, uh, that helps you to purify also. So, uh, prostration and uh, paying homage to higher objects and uh, making offerings to higher objects. Uh, so, uh, uh, the making offering of unearned uh, things in the world and in the universe. So, that is. Uh, 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 so uh, another way of accumulation of merit, right? Now we are at the confession, so we go through the book, and uh, uh, we go through the book, and uh, you know, we are at where are we now? I must take it. Uh, it's a chapter. Uh, Chapter 2, verse 39. Huh? Chapter 2, verse 39. Verse, verse 39. 39, okay. Uh, 39, 39. We ended at 38. Okay. Uh, so the uh, 38 said, even in this life, as I've stood by, many loved and loved, uh, keep it in, uh, but the evil occasion by them remains. Uh, guess we before we okay so that is that kita dari lumpur si dari topper baju me kita usah bersih dan kita betul betul macam ni so just like them I am uh, pleading rape and this I failed to recognize. Uh, in delusion, yawning, and aversion. Uh, in delusion, yawning, and in aversion, I did evil many times. Okay, so now the book, this book, uh, I, have, I have marked here, right? So 39. While I'm lying in bed. No, no, it's not me. Remaining the book. Remaining. It's 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 through not having realized that I shall suddenly vanish, I committed so much wrong out of ignorance, lust, and hate. So, <coughs> anyway, I uh, I I couldn't realize I uh, I don't realize that I'm a, I'm a temporary. We are here temporarily in this world. We are not here forever, of course not. So we are temporary. So we may have to live any time. We have, may have to leave this world any time. We don't know. So that I didn't realize. So I, uh, uh, without realizing that, uh, then uh, through, the, through the power of ignorance, attachment, and hatred, I have committed many uh, evil actions, bad, bad actions. So that is what uh, he says here, right? So the, the translation sometimes, you know, out of ignorance, lust, and hate. And here he translates uh, uh, yawning and aversion. I did it. Many uh, evil, uh, evil many times, right? So that that is uh, uh, 
that you understand now, I believe so. Now, we need to be young men, but change the time of the year. But we young men, that's what you need to be. Now, okay, Oxford, uh, 39, 40, right? Night and day, without, uh, without respite, more, more of life is lost. Uh, more of life is lost. It never gets longer. Surely will I, uh, surely will I not die? Okay. Uh, 39. Right. Okay. Uh, remaining neither day or night. Correct, right? Remaining neither day or nor day, day nor that night. Life is always slipping by, slipping by, by, and never getting any longer. Why would death not come to one like me? So, okay. So actually, whatever we do, the time is passing day and by day and night. Okay, so day is uh, day is gone, then the night is gone, then the whole twenty-four hours is gone, then the, then the next day uh, starts, but that will also be will, will be gone. So this uh, reducing, reducing. Our lifespan is reducing and reducing. And uh, we cannot uh, uh, aid our lifespan. And there is no way to aid our lifespan, make it longer. So the, in, uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a in Buddhist in Buddhist philosophy. So uh, when uh, uh, when we create the karma to take birth in uh, when we create the karma to take birth in uh, uh, any realm, uh, the uh, lifespan is determined. So the, uh, the the example is given, you know. So I I, I told you last time also. You remember? Anybody remember? Uh, you were not there, right? <laughs> so, uh, because it says, uh, oh, Mr. Lee, remember? What about? About uh, 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 when the karma, when when you make the karma to take rebirth, so when you shoot the arrow, so the, the person uh, pulls the string, and then, then, uh, then, then how far the arrow will go, that depends on how strong you pull it, right? So once you release it, then you cannot pull it further in between. The arrow, if the arrow is not reaching to the target, you run after the arrow and you pull it, you cannot do that. So it is always determined over here when you re release the arrow. Yeah. Similarly, your your lifespan is uh, de uh, determined when uh, uh, when the karma is created, and uh, uh, then that is your lifespan. So, it, uh, like, uh, if you take a uh, birth in heaven realms, then the lifespan is always fixed. It's 5,000 years, 50,000 years. I mean, we are talking about human years, because uh, uh, we, uh, when we talk about five year, 500 years, uh, that means uh, human life is uh, many, many, in, in, in many, many thousands. It becomes many thousands. <coughs> so, but the uh, uh, human beings' life is uh, not fixed. 
individuals have different lifespan. You know, when you make the cover, individuals, individuals have like different lifespan. So, yeah, but, but still, uh, even though your cover has created certain lifespan, span, uh, they, 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 you can meet with the many obstacles in between, so that you couldn't complete your lifespan, such as accident. Such as uh, if you drink a, a lot of alcohol, you know, then you cannot finish uh, your lifespan. And uh, if sudden accident, big accident, you can suddenly die, you know. So then that is another obstacle. So those are the examples. There are so many obstacles we can, uh, it's possible that we meet with. So that, so that is uh, the... That is, we are talking about lifespan, but it, it doesn't say here, but we just talk, you know, we just... Uh, uh, so it, here it says that you cannot add any lifespan, make, uh, cannot make it longer. That means, I, I was explaining, you know, what does it mean, you know. Uh, um, uh, but in Tantariana, um, uh, because sometimes, uh, uh, so not only sometimes, if you practice well, you can expand lifestyle. So only in Vajrayana, that's what, only Maha, not in Mahayana, Sutrayana, and uh, not in Theravada tradition, we, uh, that is uh, absolutely we, uh, no, and no, no, no methods to prolong our lifestyle, you know. So in Vajrayana, Vajrayana, if, uh, when you get, uh, if you, when you, uh, get highly uh, realized or so, and you can control your uh, wind, your wind, you know, uh, then you can live as long as you wish to, as long or as long as you need to be, so it's like that. So here it says, that it, this is not according to Vajrayana, this is according to Sotayana. So, uh, uh, you cannot add any lifespan. So I, I will also die. Why? Why not? Uh, why I should uh, not die? There's no reason for that. Dani men are too simple. Ni je kun je thamu. So je ba ye thora da ni si bo ye wa. Si je po ni se ma ni ni di je ma si. Te se sono te ti te ma te ma ni ma te po. Now the ah the Oxford. Oxford first, right? 41, right? Yeah. Uh, though here laid on my bed, though in the mid midst of family, it is alone that I must endure the agony of the, what is it? Throes of death. Throes of death means? The pain of death. Okay, throes of death. For one sees by the mess messengers of death, what good is a relative? What good a friend? At that time, married alone is a, a defense, and I have not acquired it. Now, 43, okay. So now this translation is 40, right? Yeah. No, 39. No, 40, 40. While I'm lying in bed, although surrounded by my friends and relatives, the feeling of life being served. Ah, not served. Severe. Severe. Huh? Severe. severe, right? Uh, the feeling of life being severe will be experienced by me alone. When seized by the messengers of death, uh, what benefit will friends and relatives afford? My merit alone shall protect me then. But upon that I have never relied. Okay. So, So he's talking about the dying, you know. Uh, so when you die, maybe you're sick or you, you become very weak, so you are lying in bed, you are bad, and then everybody, maybe relatives. Uh, and, uh, it's a, uh, in ancient time, uh, so the relatives, sons, daughters, uh, they are, uh, if their parents are dying, they serve uh, their parents, they are nearby, they live nearby, 
and they are set nearby, so it's like that, right? And the Indian culture also might be like that. The Tibetan culture is like that. And the speaking culture also, we, even now we do things. Uh, but uh, in more developed country, maybe uh, not so common, you know, because uh, we put uh, our sick parents or relatives in hospital and sometimes we don't know when he is dying or he's dead and we don't know. We are not near them. Anyway, so uh, so that is not only in Singapore. Many developed countries, they are so busy. You know? So the, so that is not... But Indian culture, maybe ancient Indian culture. So India is, India is also changing. So. Uh, the big urban places are becoming like other developed countries. So, uh, but uh, but culture in, uh, the culturally it is like that. And uh, so so the, what he means is that everybody is uh, standing by. Uh, you will be the only person who will feel uh, the suffering of dying. You know. And uh, so you know, those relatives, friends, well wishers, uh, they can do nothing to help you. And that time, only uh, the merit, if you have accumulated merit uh, while you were alive, that will help you. That will help me, everybody, you know, that will help me. But I didn't uh, uh, make efforts to. Uh, collect merit when I was uh, young, when I was capable, when I was uh, alive. So that is what he says here. What uh, transient, transient life, not recognizing this danger, heedless. Oh Lord, I have acquired great evil. Evil. Now, when seized by the messengers of death, what benefit will friends and relatives afford? By merit alone, this is gold, right? Yeah. Now this must be 42 now. Uh, all protectors, I so unconcerned, unaware of such terror as this, accumulated a great deal of negative action for the sake of this transient life. So here what he says, O oh Lord, being not aware of this, the, uh, the, 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 be, being not aware of the death and the, the fear, uh, uh, I did a lot of bad actions, uh, which is only for this life which is uh, very short and uh, very uncertain. So, that this life is, uh, even if you live uh, for a hundred years, that passes very fast, right? So that is the maximum we can think of. Uh, so, uh, so, So for only for this, you know, uh, in the, in the Buddhist philosophy, we believe in uh, future life. So the future life is very uh, concerned. Uh, future life is considered very important because future lives are countless. It is, but this life is not considered important because this life is the only one that too is not very long, very short period. And uh, so, uh, so, uh, so
So impermanency of this life, uh, to, to realize impermanency of this life is very important. Uh, so that even if uh, you don't have, you don't get much things, you wouldn't, uh, uh, if you don't earn a lot of money or if you have, don't have a very huge big business or so, uh, but you wouldn't uh, accumulate uh, bad actions for that kind of purpose because you think far in the future, right? So because we have, uh, we believe the countless future lives and uh, that we must think of future lives as well. So the problem here is uh, that, that uh, many people within the future lives or even Buddhists, we call ourselves Buddhists, but uh, uh, they, uh, they must, they may be future life, like something like that. You, know, you are not fully convinced there are future lives. Uh, uh, they may be future lives, but uh, if we are fully convinced about future lives, as uh, the Buddha taught to us, then we will be really concerned about our future life. But if we are not fully convinced of it, because we don't see them. Uh, that is the problem. We believe what we see. Uh, we believe more, mostly what we believe what we see. Uh, we believe this, uh, what do you call it? Sensory, sensory matters. What we hear, what we smell, what we taste, what we feel with our body, that if something is soft or oh, yeah, then you are convinced. When you got the feeling, then you are convinced. Mm -hmm. And uh, the music is so nice. When you hear that, you are convinced. And uh, sometimes it can be wrong, you know, if you see something, but that can be wrong. But uh, still, if then you see, you believe it. I saw that, you know. If you don't see, then uh, it's hard to believe for you. So that is, uh, uh, that is because we only believe in our sensorial feelings, right? Yeah. So that is not the only one. There are so many things which we cannot sense through our this sensorial consciousness, right? Yeah. So uh, there are many things that we don't see, there are many things we don't hear. You cannot say, uh, for example, uh, the earlier there's only one galaxy, according to the scientists, because they don't see, they, uh, they didn't see. Now there are countless galaxies, with the, there are so many, and they assume through their analyze, there are so many. So earlier scientists, for the earlier scientists, there's only one galaxy because they couldn't see. But uh, it doesn't mean that it doesn't. Uh, they don't exist. It exists. They, they, they are bound to them. So similarly, uh, so when we don't believe in future life, there's only one reason that is we don't see it. But uh, there are many signs that uh, there might be. Uh, like uh, life, uh, different lives, uh, previous lives. You know, many people, uh, uh, many people has gone back in their previous life. For example, how true it is, we don't know. But still, there are some indications, some signs. You know, uh, when you are hypnotized, some, uh, then you go back in your li uh, previous life, and so forth. And then there are many babies that they, who, who remember their previous life. Not only remember, and then they they really got uh, how do you say? Connection. Huh? Connection. Connection. No, uh, not only connection, but inter interconnection. No, uh, they say I. There's my house over there. And uh, my uh, previous parents named this, this, and then they check and was there exactly what uh, the baby told them. How to explain this? Recollection. 
recollection and which came true. Recollection, yes, right? And uh, when they analyzed, they checked and uh, true. Uh, I will try to find the right word for maybe you understand already what I'm trying to tell you. Authentication. Huh? Authenticate, yeah. Authenticate, yes. Authenticate. I think so. Right, Jimmy? Yeah, authentication. Right? It seems so, thank you. Uh, but uh, right, uh, we can check, no problem. Uh,